Now let's take a look at Google Analytics. Why do we need Google Analytics? We have a website. We need to measure user statistics. We should look at our user statistics to improve our website. When we improve our website based on Google Analytics statistics details, we can get more sales, more inquiries, more leads. Using Google Analytics, we'll be able to see people's geographic location, demographics details, search specific details, paid ad specific details, social media specific reference details, landing page specific details, our page in page analytics and more okay so having all these details you can look at the number of visitors visiting your website bounce rate whether they are staying in our website or just going away how many pages they visit how frequently they visit how long it takes for them to complete a purchase cycle all this can be measured okay let's sign up click on google analytics sign in or sign up okay it's already signed in sign in to google analytics okay now say sign up once you sign up here we are going to track our website give some account name say assume we are going to track vibavi okay vibavi.com's website in that case what do you do you will just say the account name is vibavi the company name and the website name is again it's vibavi as you vibe is a company and they run multiple businesses multiple websites okay you can have multiple properties created this is vibavi account name at the company level this is a property that we are creating for a website so the website name is www.vibavi.com industry category choose the one that are that is applicable. Um, electronics, computers and electronics, and reporting time zone. This is in India. Okay, then you have to choose data sharing settings. The first one should be checked Google products and services. You have to share data with other Google products and services so that you can actually share data from Google Analytics to AdWords, AdWords to Analytics and there are more other applications where you need to share like Google Webmasters, Google AdSense, okay. And the remaining things are for when you contribute anonymous data to an aggregate data set, technical support team, account specialist team, it's up to you to share all these three but first one should be checked, okay. And then click on get tracking ID. When you click on get tracking ID, what happens? You are actually going to you are going to create tracking ID for your website. It will provide you a small setup code that should be pasted in each and every page in your website. Choose your country and say accept. Once you accept, it opens up the tracking ID information. So it 
you, you, are, you are currently in property tab tracking code okay here if you if you scroll down you have your tracking ID here what you have to do you just need to copy and paste this in your website you have to paste this in each and every page in your website only then it will track all your pages okay so this is a basic code now you need to enable two more features for which you need to add two more lines here before that you need to enable those features here you have data collection and the data collection enable remarketing and advertising reporting features by doing this it will provide you demographics and interest related data demographics and interest related data and you will also be able to start collecting remarketing list what is a remarketing list people who are visiting in your website will be collected under this remarketing list so that those who are who, who, who visits shopping cart page but did not visit your thank you page okay you can cover such visitors and target them and show them specific offers what happens there are chances that they may revisit your website and convert you know purchase the product or you can even say those who are uh, you know visiting a specific page a specific product page show them another variety of products okay you can actually remarket them or retarget them okay so enabling this will allow you to collect those list okay now say save and also you need to enable one more under property settings here if you come down there is a default view which is all website data choose that and come down you need to enable demographics and interest reports even here and also in page analytics you have a website in a page you will have multiple links and if people say assume few people may click on a different link a menu link and travel to another page or some may click on some image link and click on travel to another page if you want to track which link they clicked on you need to enable this enhanced link attribution and say save so for this link attribution and demographics and interest you need to enable two more code okay the code is going to be same for all websites so i'm going to open logc.com our website wherein we have those two codes pasted already to get the code you will right click it and click on view page source okay search for the analytics code analytics code always starts with ua hyphen okay just copy the code here okay copy this code and open it in your gmail so that you can send it to your web developer to paste it compose an email paste it okay change this to text format okay the only thing that you are going to change is your id this is my id don't paste it your id will be here go to under property you will have tracking code the code is going to be same if you take a look at this you have only two lines here ga create whatever and also you see this this specific analytics id is different copy this and paste it here okay and i have added two more lines here one is link attribution okay to track the links where people click on it in a page and the display features okay to track your demographics and interest categories i mean interest uh, details now send this code to your web developer and ask them to paste it in all your pages
Once they paste it, Google Analytics will start tracking it under Reporting tab. Before we go to Reporting tab, let me complete this admin tab. You have three columns, one is Account, Property, View. This is at the company level. This is a company may have multiple websites and a website may have multiple views. Say a website will have a, a, a service section and a blog section and a training section. You can create multiple views for a website. 